Now that we've seen how to create variables, it's time to put them to work. Selected dimensions or parameters within features are driven by variables and their values. These values are then updated and modified to accommodate any necessary changes to the design. Additionally, dimensions may be linked to one another through the use of variables. Configurations also allow variables to use a unique value for each configuration. To make use of a variable within a dimension or feature parameter, create or modify the dimension or parameter where it should be used and enter the pound sign or hashtag. This displays a dropdown with any previously created variables available for selection, as well as an option to create a new variable on the fly. To use a previously created variable, select it from the list or continue typing its name and press enter on the keyboard. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard to cycle through the variables in the list. To create a new variable on the fly, select new variable from the list. This displays a pop-up dialog where the name, value, and description may be specified. Once the information is entered, click the green check mark. A new variable is created, and the dimension or parameter is driven by the newly created variable. The variable is added above the active feature in the feature list. If the variable is to be used in previously created sketch dimensions or features, it should be ordered prior to them in the feature list. This dining table's length is dictated by a sketch dimension. Without variables, it would be necessary to dig through the sketches and features to determine which dimension drives the length. If the length is instead driven by a variable, it's much easier to make design changes later in the process. Simply open the variable table, change the value, and the effects of the dimension change are immediately visible. The same applies to dimensions within features. A fillet feature defines the corner radius of the table. By applying a variable to the fillet radius parameter within the fillet feature, it's much simpler to edit the value of the variable than to search for the feature in the feature list and modify the parameter there. To edit the value of a variable, right-click the variable feature in the feature list and select Edit, or double-click the feature. The value may be updated and automatically propagates to any dimension or parameter that references the variable. The name of the variable may be updated as well, but references are only updated if the Update All References checkbox is checked. If references are not updated, any feature or sketch that reference the variable fails until it is manually updated, or a variable with the same name is recreated. In subsequent videos, you will learn how variables can be used in configurations, how to use expressions to further enhance design automation, and how to relate variables to one another.